Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to learn to set up the VEX V5 for a tank drive system. It's relatively straightforward, so let's get at it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the VEX code V5 or code V5VEX.com, whatever you want to call it, and we want it to look like this. It's your blank screen. First thing we're going to need to do is we're using the controller for tank drives. Now, a tank drive traditionally has four motors. You have a left side and a right side. Left side acts in unison, right side does acts in unison also. And then we're going to need a controller. Typically, the controller uh, that we're using has the two little joysticks. So you use the left joystick for the left side, right side for the right joystick, uh, right joystick for the right side. First thing we're going to do is we are going to go to device and we're gonna add a device. We are gonna to go to a motor group. So like I said, we have left side motors and right side motors. And by doing a motor group, we only have to spell it out for that one side and the other side, and we are good to go, and we're gonna set up a controller. So let's do the motor group first. So we're gonna do a motor group. I'm gonna use ports one and two. I'm gonna call it left side. No spaces that uh, forward good good leave everything the same we don't have to worry about gear cartridges what's in there and if you ever want to know what gear cartridge is when you look at the motor you'll see like a little green red or blue these are all normal done we're going to add another one right side motor group we are using i'm just looking over nine and ten nine ten highlight those right side now whatever ports you want to use you can use them and they don't even need to be near each other it makes no difference. Uh, we're gonna keep them the same, done. All right, so remember, if you wanna go forward, all four need to go in the same direction, so we're not worried about reverse or not yet. Though we might have to reverse them, because they're gonna be flipped over. Add another device, we gotta add a controller. We're gonna use the joystick here and here. So we got three and four, one and two, done. So these are just our buttons just adding a controller and now we have a controller now when you add these things in if we look over to the left I'm gonna see our left side or right side like that and also we go down to controller control right here when controller up or pressed there up down left right or any of these you can see now that we have it there if we didn't we wouldn't have these so that now our devices are set up to use what we have. Okay, so now let's get into the coding. This is very basic. Uh, we'll be doing a tutorial on the actual coding, but right now it's just to get the tank drive set up for our sumo bots. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna ditch this when started. Okay, we're gonna change it up on top to when driver controlled. So that is right here, drag it on over. Then what we're gonna do is we have to set our velocities. The velocities are set based on what the controller is doing, whether it's two or three or left or, you know, whatever the joysticks are doing. So if we take a look at the controller, right, we have three and two, so like up or down. So based on that, just like a tank, the tank drives move, that's how we're gonna set our velocities. So we're gonna come over here, scroll on down to set, set, set. Where are you? Probably missed it. Uh, it was right there. So we're gonna set left side Velocity There just drag it over don't need to attach it yet and we're gonna do a set right side So Left side right side. Oops wrong one Set left side velocity do like that now it's nice to see how that circle that little like ellipses We can put something else in there and that's what we're gonna do Just scroll down and controller right here and there's our position so put that in controller and position now we're going to change what's inside of it so left side good controller one good and we're going to do position three because if we go three that should be my left side so left side is three then i'm going to go over here set right side control one two percentage perfect um, that's the percentage of speed right there. So if you push it all the way, it's 100%, 100% velocity. Now that just sets the speeds. It doesn't do anything else. We have to get them to go. So we're gonna go back up to our motors and we're gonna go spin right here and we're gonna say forward. 
Spin left side forward. Spin right side forward. Easy enough. Now, when we hit the hit the controller or the joysticks on the controller, I'm gonna push up on two, which is uh, three on the left side, and two on the right side. It'll move the wheels that way and backwards. Now we wanted to continually check for this, so we have to set it up in a loop. So we're gonna set it up in a forever loop. So we're gonna take our loop, bring it in, drag this in, set this right up on top. That should be our program right there. So basically, your left side's controlled by the one joystick, your right side's controlled by the other joystick, and you're good to go. So now let's try this out. Okay, once you have all this, save it. If you're using the internet-based uh, or the web-based version of Xcode V5, you can't save it, but you can save it to the device. You're gonna wanna make sure that everything is connected. So I'm going to hook up my controller here. So I'm using this through the controller. Give it a second, and there we go. Now everything's hooked up. I'm going to hit download, make sure that this is there. It's gonna take a second. I'm doing it wirelessly to the actual brain. So it takes a little bit longer. Okay, so now it's there. Let's see if this thing actually works. Okay, so you can see here that we have the brain. We got tank drive labeled up top, run. And all you're gonna do is hit run right there, push down on it. And I only have the three motors hooked up because I had to use one to tether to my radio. That's why it was out. And right there, there's one motor group and that's the other motor group. So now we know our motor groups are good to go. Now, if there's an issue with one beside being reversed or not, that can be fixed as well. And I'll show you how to do that back in the device menu. Okay, so if you need one side reversed, easy enough. We go into devices. So say that my right, my right side, because the motors are flipped over, need to be reversed. Click on there and you can go down over here, hit reverse, done. Make sure you save everything. And then you're just gonna re-download that, compile and download back to the computer, give it a test out on your actual tank drive system and see how it works, but that should work. So there you have it, everyone. That's how to set up the tank drive system on the VEX V5. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, you should be successful at setting it up. All right, everyone, have a good one, bye.